Hello, my name is Santiago Sanchez and today we are going to talk about how to be a competent intercultural communicator. So, let's just start. According to the theory, a competent intercultural communicator is one who has the ability to interact and communicate effectively and appropriately with people from other cultures. But how would you interact effectively with people from other cultures? I did these questions to some students of bilingualism from the Universidad Tecnológica de Pereira and these were the answers. The effectiveness in communication depends on their respect. So we need to know, for example, the terms of address, how to be polite to different people. So I think that is very important to know uh, the ethical Background. Okay, in my point of view, it is really important to know the language and to use it like uh, correctly. Uh, another uh, aspect is, is that we have to use a lot of body language to express what we, we, what we want to express. First of all, you have to be confident with that person. Um, you know, share anecdotes, try to, you know, take from, uh, get from that person the you know, important information in order to, to to create okay, having listened to the opinions of some bilingual students from the UTP about how to interact effectively with people from other cultures, I will give you the five major principles that influence the ability to interact appropriately with people from other cultures. So, the first principle that influences to interact effectively with another culture is motivation. Why? Because you have to be motivated to improve your abilities to communicate. You also have to be motivated to relate and interact with other people. You also have to be motivated to show your interest and to make an effort to, to talk and understand uh, a conversation and also to extend help if it is necessary the second principle is about knowledge you need an appropriate found of cultural knowledge to be self-aware and to understand the norms the rules and the exceptions associated with the culture of the people whom you are interacted with so you need two types of knowledge to be completely competent so you need Content knowledge which involves no words and meanings and you need procedural knowledge that refers to know how to apply that content knowledge. The third principle is about your skills. If you want to be a competent intercultural communicator, you have to be able to listen, observe, interpret and analyze specific behaviors that enable you to achieve your goals. And these rules need to be adapted to the rules of interaction. The fourth principle is about sensibility. This involves being flexible, patient, empathic, curious about other cultures and open to diversity and so tolerant. The fifth and the last principle to be a competent culture communicator is character. Character is about make others see you like a trustworthy person. So basically, if you are not perceived by your communication partner as a person with good character, your chances for success will be reduced. So character are often related with respect, fairness, the ability to make choices, the honor, and the sensibility. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. And I also hope that you make use of all of these tips that will help you a lot to increase your communication abilities. See you next time.